Whenever it happens that we have to reply to someone who insults us, let us be careful to answer with meekness. A mild answer breaketh wrath. A mild reply is enough to quench every spark of anger. And in case we feel irritated, it is best to keep silence, because then it seems only just to give vent to all that rises to our lips. But when our passion has subsided, we shall see that all our words were full of faults. And when it happens that we ourselves commit some fault, we must also practice meekness in our own regard. To be exasperated at ourselves after a fault is not humility, but a subtle pride, as if we were anything else than the weak and miserable things that we are. To be angry at ourselves after the commission of a fault is a fault worse than the one committed, and will be the occasion of many other faults. It will make us leave off our devotions, prayers, and communions, or if we do practice them, they will be done very badly. Saint Aloysius Gonzaga said that we cannot see in troubled waters, and that the devil fishes in them. A soul that is troubled knows little of God and of what it ought to do. Whenever, therefore, we fall into any fault, we should turn to God with humility and confidence, and craving His forgiveness. Say to Him, with Saint Catherine of Genoa, O Lord, this is the produce of my own garden. I love Thee with my whole heart, and I repent of the displeasure I have given Thee. I will never do the like again. Grant me thy assistance. Saint Alphonsus Ora Pra Nobis, in nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. God bless you.